Please do not flip the hair. We get it. She's bald underneath. Thank you, management. Look, it's funny. It is, I have to admit, it is funny, but don't blatantly ignore the people that work at the store who are asking you, they're saying please, quit making them do stupid stuff because you wanted to take a photo that we have literally all already seen for the love of God, man. A female athlete, I'm sure we would all get behind. What? Oh, I get it. I get it. Bend over. Yeah. Okay. Where is she from? Oh, Czech Republic. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> I wonder what the proper pronunciation of her name is. Is it Bendova? Bendova? I, I, how, how do you say her name? I gotta know. Tis the season. The season of uh, Australia. What's uh, what's he wearing? Uh, what, what the hell is this guy wearing? I mean, he's doing the dance. I just don't know what the outfit is. I'm just a little confused on that, I guess. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm the crazy one. What is that? A butt? Well, I do like butts. I guess that's a thoughtful gesture. So should I respond with something she likes? Maybe a flower? A butthole? <laughs> See, these are the types of people that are made for each other in the best way possible. Who's this by? Brad T. Jonas? You're hilarious, man. <laughs> You're actually very, very funny. This man was disgusted the entire time for some reason. Why is he so... I get why she might be a little like, what? Is that a butthole? But why is he so... He's just upset. He's he's grotesquely upset about this whole ordeal. Our son got his mom this candle. Mom's last nerve. Oh, look, it's on fire. Well, I think any mom and any dad and any child <laughs> would know how funny and accurate this one actually is. Sure, it's not bust my gut, shit my pants laughing, but it's good. And this is the sort of thing I see and make me it makes me think, you know what? Why don't I get this for my mom? You know, I think she'd appreciate that. Because, wow, her last nerve has been on fire since I came out almost 29 years ago. Unattended children will be given a Red Bull and taught how to son of a bitch this one again? How many businesses saw this joke and took it for themselves? And you know what? Even better yet, which one did it first? Who's the original business? The way our dessert was served. I think they knew what they were doing, and I, I think you gotta, you gotta just gotta grow up, man. Eat the penis dessert. You know what? Some of the best foods ever are shaped like really giant wide penises. It, just, just just, do it, it's fine. It's gonna taste delicious. Local robbery suspect disguise. Well, I would say that he tried. Niagara Regional Police. I would definitely say he tried. He could have tried harder, I guess. Look, I get it. If you're robbing a gas station or really any place like this at all, you're on hard times, but I feel like you might be able to come up with something more than having your shirt ever so slightly come up above your chin and cover your hair. Just a locked door in Thailand. Oh, we saw, I think we saw the locked penis door, didn't we? Didn't we see that locked penis door? I feel like we did. Still good though. The organic recycler. Mulch, compost, soil blends. Let's grow together. A great start to your day begins with an excellent dump. I agree. I totally agree, but I don't see how that makes me need your services. Look, my personal dump is a little bit different of a situation, not to get too TMI, but it's quite a tranquil time, okay? And I don't really need a giant truck for that. I mean, I've had times where maybe I thought I might, or maybe even an ambulance, but never once have I thought about the organic recycler brand or company in those moments. The produce aisle just got complicated. How the turned tables. Why? What do you mean? I wouldn't buy that, by the way. I just, I, there's something about the hole in the eggplant. Or, uh, or uh, what, uh, what is it called overseas? I don't know why, I can't remember why we call it an eggplant over here. Do, are we the only ones that do that? Whatever, that's not the point of any of this. I'm really good at not really seeing the point, or seeing the point and ignoring it. I'm never smoking that shit again. I ended up at the evil CVS. Look, I do not like CVS as a company, but you gotta admit, this is a fire ass building and I'm glad as hell they either built it like this or found a really, really cool old building and decided rather than make it look like garbage, let's just use it as is. I do have to wonder though, is the CVS the entire building? Because that is a tall structure right there. I have seen one two-story CVS in my life and one two-story Walgreens in my life, but this one looks like it's three stories tall, maybe even four stories tall minimum. Hell, maybe even more than that, I don't know. It's huge. What is in there? I need to visit the evil CVS myself. Elephants and fish copters back in the 70s. 
Why? Okay. <laughs> oh, what am I looking at here? Please tell me these are actual photogla photoglyphs. Please tell me. Please, for the love of God, tell me. Naval Air Station. Okay, the fact that I can read that text, it, it tells me that right now we're, we're pretty good. I can kind of read some other stuff. I mean, it's cr it's creepy looking. There's something really creepy about these images. It's, wh what sub were we in again? Oh, we're on funny. I don't know why I thought we were in infuriating subs. I think I'm just, I'm so used to being angry. Are you high? Am I what? Hi. Hello. <laughs> That could go on for days. This is a real who's on first, if you ask me, okay? <laughs> the hot dog my nephew received at a softball game. No, 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 no. That might have been the hot dog your nephew received, but that's the hot dog that's going to go back, and they're going to give you one that hasn't gone through the dark place. You know, they're going to give you a hot dog that wasn't accidentally dropped into an active volcano. They're going to give you a hot dog that was not directly in front of the elephant's foot back in the 80s, okay? You're going to go get a real one, for the love of God. It's hard to define exactly what an island is. An island is surrounded by water, but... Is a continent an island? No. If I dig a canal across a peninsula, does that make it an island? No. Just saying. Fine. We're stuck on a deserted something that looks like an island. Thank you. Really? The dude started arguing that that's not an island? It's hard to define what an island is. No! Why can't a giant continent just be a mega island? I mean, come on. I think that's okay. I mean, I guess continent, I guess, it is just another word for what? Humongous mega island? Anything surrounded by water? I don't actually know what the definition of... Oh, let me look that up. A piece of land surrounded by water. So theoretically, I mean, it doesn't really matter the size. This task is way too difficult to get started. Have you tried actually doing it? I know it's gonna be rough. Oh, never mind. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta sit down and shut up. <laughs> no trespassing. Keep out. Now that's a person who understands humor. They saw that thing and went, I don't know why this is here. I don't know why I did this. There's no way someone went out and spent all the money to make the little baby fence, right? This has been here for years. They probably bought the house and thought it was hilarious that it was there. And the sign really puts it to legendary status, in my opinion. My D is rubbed off the most. Why is that? Why is your D so rubbed off? What is it that you do on a daily basis that causes the need to hit the D that hard? Hard. All right, look, it's healthy. You know, it's healthy to rub the D, you know, you know, rub up against it a little bit. It is, but in moderation, okay? Just, you know, maybe take it down a notch. Just saying, man. My fiance made croissant, and one ended up looking exactly like a manatee. <gasps> well, you can't eat that one. You have to sell it on eBay for $10 million, pretending it was by the hand of Jesus. You got the manatee croissant? Found this mask on Amazon. <laughs> I tell you, for a while there, one of my favorite quote-unquote pastimes was to go on Amazon and look up the dumbest shit I could find just in the hopes of finding the most messed up product photos I could. If I'd come across this, I would have died laughing. It just, there's... <sighs> You're never expecting it. You're never expecting it. Also, it looks to sure the guy's got silly eyes, but like what an ugly piece of crap costume. And why is he wearing like a Hogwarts cape? What is this crap? This is all bad. Mombi brains brains brain. Oh, okay. Catch up. It's Mombi, and then the, 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 uh, is there a stupid fun name we could use for the kids? Whatever, I got nothing. They're just the kid zombies. It's fine. Oh, wait, wait, hold on, Mom, you microwaved it? Oh, that's just not the same. I know this movie. Yeah, I feel like we've all seen that movie at least. I'm just kidding, I haven't seen that movie. I haven't. Hell, I can't even remember the title. I know what movie it's a reference to. I just can't really remember the details off the top of my head. All I know is they didn't look like this in the movie. And we return to France where nice play breast? What? Oh, nice versus breast. Okay, here you go. Not bad. Oh, okay. Well, that uh, that that could have gone a lot better. Did you need the gun to try on the purse? You could have just asked her where she got it, and then you could have tried it yourself later, but no, you had to inconvenience someone by pointing a gun at them. I guess at, like, her feet or something. It's a threat, my guy. That's just not right. Good enough! Hmm. I liked the good one. You know, I do... See, I, I don't really necessarily find this funny. I like the message in it, though. One of my favorite phrases ever is that perfect is the enemy of good. It, it, it can get in your way all the time. We all want perfection in our stuff, but sometimes chasing that perfection means you'll never finish because perfect is literally impossible. There's no shot. Hell, close to perfect doesn't exist. It just doesn't. 
good enough. And I can understand how someone saying good enough means like you've settled, it's whatever, it's not as good as it could have been. Like, no, not really. I mean, everything could always have been changed around or just altered or whatever. The amount of times I've uploaded, let's say, a video of my own where I've been like, that's a great video. I really, really like that video. I think I did a good job. However, I probably would have done this differently that time. Maybe this, maybe that. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. That's what it's all about. Just make the thing. Do the thing. Get the thing out there. That's really my point. That's the point of the phrase. Sometimes good enough is more than good enough. Just don't chase perfection. Time travel sickness pills. We freaking found him, dude. The doctor is in. And he's he's got to take these. Fast acting, though, for children and adults. See, that's not too bad. From the past to the future. Okay, can I get a bottle? I don't time travel, but maybe if I, maybe if I have a bottle, I'll find a way to time travel later. I don't know, I'm just saying. It sounds exciting. That's going to be an awkward hello, officer. Oops! Oh, you stupid moron. Ugh, look, you might be, you have, uh, in this particular case, you're gonna have to kiss ass really strong. But hey, at least you stayed out of that other lane. You didn't crash and block another lane of traffic, so I guess I'll, I'll give you brownie points for that. This pool service truck in front of me yesterday, I pretty the pool. <laughs> I really hope they can get him in like a, a TV commercial for the local area or something like that. I will never poop alone again. What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, it's never gonna happen again, not at all. I don't know why I was kind of scared. I just, I just kind of was. What? Okay, what is it? Cats? Come on, cats, what the hell is your problem? Get out of there, what are you doing to my pants? Mole catcher, frog juggler, chicken whisperer, and squirrel matador. Which one of these is the most impressive? Which one of these is the least? I don't know, I'm gonna have to say mole catcher is probably the most impressive, and squirrel matador is the least impressive, because... I mean, it's a squirrel. Holy crap, what the shit? That is one hell of a crunchy image. Good God, I can barely stand to look at the damn thing. Seriously, wow. Bankruptcy, divorce, liquor. But I barely know it. No, seriously, that's a hell of a pipeline right there. If that is real, uh, I just, I don't know how it, w like, why would it be though? How many businesses have you driven by? How many mini malls have you driven by where there's just a sign that says bankruptcy, divorce? Like liquor, yeah, we've all seen that. But bankruptcy and divorce just don't make sense. The correct way to use a Roomba. I don't know, I'm gonna disagree. Like, it's funny, but I, there's just something about this I don't like. These are the house rules at a vacation rental I'm staying at. Okay, here we go. No roaches and cabinets, no fireworks, no holes, no large bags of change allowed, no punching walls. If you eat French onion dip, you can only eat it with a knife. Don't be a bitch. Avoid the police at all costs, including don't answer the door. Keep lighters away from Alan. Keep shorts gender specific. And sure, pictures are PG rated before taking them and sending to family. Ask Brian first if you can have his goldfish. If your feet get dirty, Alan must lick them clean. Don't throw away your umbrella if you just bought it. No jumping in the pool if storming. See, I feel like Airbnbs could probably get some more goodwill if they stopped with the bullshit rules and just came up with some silly ones. Just let us stay at the place we paid to stay at. You know, this is fun. I finally saw the culprit and he didn't even run. Well, I think that's okay. Did you really expect him to run? Did you really want him to run? I wouldn't. I think it's fun. Y go ahead, dude. How to get rid of chest congestion fast. Steam. That type of steam or the other one? You need to be specific. Can I get rid of chest, you know, congestion by playing games or... Hezbollah leader killed. Helene, is it Helene? Aftermath. Iranian hackers, SpaceX mission, Maggie Smith. Start your week smart. Yeah, that death, that death sucks, man. You know, I, I hate to say that, of course, the main place I knew her from growing up and even now was Harry Potter for sure, and she smashed that role just hardcore, and it seems like everyone she worked with all those years had nothing but great things to say about her, and she seemed like a hilariously awesome person. Hairstylist by day, kidnapper by night. All girls with long hair must be tied up. Thank you. <laughs> okay, Debbie, you gotta take that back home though. That's a little appropriate for work. Careful what you wish for. Okay. That is not what I meant. No, he knows. That's the point. You see, he's there to teach you some kind of a lesson. This could be worse, though. At least it's not its not a Wishmaster situation. He's not an evil djinn, thankfully. Working the graveyard shift. Okay, this is great. I really, really wish my Walmart did this. Okay, this is just an adorable thing for customers to see because it's funny and the employees get to have a little joke, a little bit of fun. I mean, they're not actually the ones doing anything, but... Come on! Why don't I get to see stuff like this more often? Is it because of corporate? Is it because corporate sucks ass? Probably.